Stay tuned for urban legends to ghostly tales of the paranormal because now it's time for Message on the Wall Message on the Wall presents The Devil's Hole Near the Niagara Falls, the Devil's Hole State Park is very well named for within its grounds is what is called the Devil's Hole along with a story of how it came about. When all that was there was a small community, a priest came to tend to spiritual needs, but there was nowhere for him to live and no church for the people to pray. The priest lived with a farmer while a small shack was built, which suited him fine as he had few needs. The people of his new parish then decided there should be a church, and taking rocks from the water's edge, with gruelling labour, took them to where it was decided the church should be. This had been going on for some time, with the slow progress of getting the rocks to set the foundations of the church, when the priest had a dream whether Virgin Mary came to him. She told the priest that to help build the church, he would be given a horse that, having great strength, would be able to carry the rocks. But it came with a warning, for the bridle it wore had been blessed, and should it be removed, then the horse would disappear. When the priest awoke, he found, tethered outside his hut, a large black horse. Looking at the bridle, it appeared normal enough except for a slight sparkle when the sun's rays caught at it. As for the horse itself, as it pawed the ground, the priest saw it was a fine animal, but could not look it in the eye for long, sensing some form of evil. However, a gift is a gift, and taking it to the workmen, told them to use the horse, which he had named Old Nick, to help move the rocks. Placing the horse to a cart, it was filled, which it took to the site where the church was to be built. When the priest saw the horse bearing the load with ease, he told the men to carry more, and so a larger cart was brought. Piling it high with rocks, the cart groaned under the weight, and the wheels rattled, but the horse pulled the load without even a sweat. With the horse carrying more rocks, the plans for the church were extended to make it larger. One day it was so hot that when the men stopped to rest, Although they were told not to remove the bridle, a man took the horse from the cart, and so that it could take a drink of water, did just that. But instead of taking a drink, now it was free, it made good its escape, galloping off at a tremendous speed. It was no more than a black streak as it went along the road, and coming in the opposite direction was the priest. Seeing the horse was free, the priest made the sign of the cross in front of the animal. The horse sprang aside onto a rock beside the river, and with a roar that sounded like thunder, the rock split, forming a cave into which the horse disappeared. Since that time, the place has been known as the Devil's Hole, where at night moans and screams have been heard coming from within, while animals refuse to go near, and horses that are coaxed to go by tremble. Dare you Dare go you to the go Devil's Owl? You have been listening to Message on the Wall, brought to you in association with Paranormal Parodies. You can find Paranormal Parodies at paranormal-parodies.com.